yet another amazing class with us by Jews. I'm Ashwarya and today we are going to be learning about a very simple concept that is of balanced diet. So in our class today we are going to be learning about what is balanced diet, what are the components that need to be included in this diet, why such a diet is important and we'll be learning some extra information about what is obesity and something interesting known as a keto diet. But of course, before I get started, if it's the first time you are watching our video, then welcome to the 6 to 8 channel. Do hit the subscribe button and the like button if you like the video. And be part of our Telegram community because we give you a lot of updates in the Telegram community where we give you session notes, session PDFs, homework question, updates and a lot more. Right? So the link is available in the description box. Do join our community. Now, of course, you know that the Baiju's mini learning program is available to all of you and we have various packs that are there for you that you can try it out. You can take the 199 one, 299 one and in these mini learning programs, you will get in-depth understanding of concepts, the two teacher advantage and of course, you will have live classes and post-class assessments. So do check it out. So now, of course, without wasting any more time, we'll get started with understanding what is balanced diet. But before I tell you directly what is balanced diet, I'm sure all of you would have heard about or seen factories, right? So here, what you see right behind you is a simple layout of a factory. And what do you see inside here? You see that there are so many machines, there are so many people working. And we see that all of them need to work together in an efficient manner so that the factory can function out or manufacture whatever is going on there. Now for these machines to work effectively, we see that all of it needs to be oiled well, right? So the machines require oil or whatever they require to fuel them, yes? So what you need to focus on is the word fuel. It needs to be provided in the right amount. Now you must be thinking, right? Ma'am, there's nothing like that. Like, what if I give more oil? Machine should ideally work better. So let's have a look. Imagine I take a machine and I provide them with large amounts of oil. What happens is that too much of something is also very bad. And we see that the machines may get damaged. But if you provide too little of it as well, it is of no good. Because too little oil will again cause a lot of damage to the parts of the machine. And then again, it will not work effectively. But if we provide the right amount of oil to it, right? So if we provide the right amount, then we see that the machine works efficiently. Now, surprisingly, our body is also the same. Because if we provide our body with the right kind of food, the right kind of nutrients in the adequate amounts, our body will function effectively. But if we do not have a proper diet and our diet mainly consists of junk food and very little of the essential nutrients, then we see that it can have a harmful effect on our body. And this type of a diet, wherein we see that all the nutrients are present in the appropriate amounts or in the right proportions or another way of saying it is adequate proportions is what we call as a balanced diet. And this is extremely essential for the proper functioning of the body. So now we know that the nutrients that are there mainly include your macro and micronutrients, that is carbohydrates, proteins, fats, vitamins and minerals. So all these nutrients must be present in our diet. So here you can see that you can have about uh, 25 to 30% of carbohydrates, 25% of proteins in your diet, about 10% of fats and about 40% of fruits and vegetables because they are your main sources of vitamins and minerals. And it's important that all your nutrients are present in the diet that you consume in a day because we know how important all of these nutrients are. Right. And on regularly consuming a balanced diet, we see that it helps in preventing diseases and improves our immunity or resistance to fight against diseases, helps in managing our body weight and mass, helps in proper growth and development. Right. And it also improves our skin. It improves hair texture. Right. Helps in growth, especially. Right. So this is something that we need to understand. But what if? one does not consume balanced diet. Now, this is a question that most of us ask. And sometimes we think about whether we are actually eating a balanced diet or no. 
Now then again, it's not easy for us to sit and you know maybe accurately measure 25% carbohydrates, exactly 25% proteins. It's not going to be easy to do that. But you can be conscious about the kind of food that you eat. Homemade food is the best because homemade food has all the nutrients that we require and of course in good proportions. But on a regular basis, if there is an individual who eats a lot of junk food which is rich in a lot of fat and you know does not have the right quantities of nutrients, it could lead to a condition known as obesity. Now, obesity is considered to be a lifestyle disorder wherein there is development of excess body fat. And we also see that this puts a stress on the heart and affects, uh, you know, it sort of affects the functioning of the body. Now, of course, one thing is that it's not just with diet, but it is also due to lack of physical exercise. Because diet and physical exercise go hand in hand. So you need to make sure that even though you're having a balanced diet, you also do physical exercise because it keeps your body in check. And if you don't eat right and you are not, you know, uh, doing physical exercise or any kind of physical activity, then it may affect your body as well. So these two things are very important to understand. And of late, if you see, there's a lot of, you know, trends, you read a lot about different types of diet that people can consume to keep their body weight in check. And this one such diet is called as a keto diet. Now, keto diet, so this is just some extra information for all of you. Keto diet is a high fat adequate protein diet, which means that this will mainly have proteins and it will mainly have fats, but it may not have a lot of carbohydrates. And a lot of people are recommended this diet, especially people who are at risk for diabetes or high blood sugar levels. Now, the thing is, for maybe people who have some other disorders, this may be recommended. But this is not something as students, especially in the growing ages of between, say, 12 to even till 20, this is not something that is really advised. Because it is important that you have all your nutrients, even carbohydrates. Because in the food that we eat, there are various complex carbohydrates that are needed by the body, right? And it is necessary that we eat it. But then again, too much of anything could also be bad, which is why we need to keep it in check. So what is the conclusion from all of this? That every nutrient is important and a ba balanced diet is necessary. So this was a very simple concept and I hope you enjoyed this. So let us know in the comment section below that if you want to know more about balanced diet or maybe some other kinds of diets, if you want to learn more, do let us know in the comment section below because you know that we always check it. And the 6 to 8 uh, channel that is there is always here for you and we've got you covered. Now, of course, in case if you like this video, show us your love by hitting the like button, sharing this with your friends and subscribing to our channel. I hope you enjoyed this video. Hoping to see you very soon again. Bye bye and have a nice day.